Hi guys, it's day four of Vacation Bible Stories. Today's story is Jacob. And Jacob has a brother named Esau. Mrs. McCullough, what are those boys doing today? Well, I guess they're making some stew. Um, but it's really weird because this talks about a birthright. And a birthright has to do with something that you, you're born into. And somehow they figure out a way to trade something for it. It seems kind of odd. It's a very odd thing that they're trading for it. If you want to read it yourself, it's in Genesis 25, 19 through 34. and welcome to our cafe. I'll be your waiter for the day. Would you like to try our special? It's called Red Man Stew. What's that? You've never heard of Red Man Stew? Why is that speciality? The recipe is handed down from a man named Jacob. The stew is named after Jacob's brother Esau. When Esau was born, he was very red and covered with thick hair like fur. Jacob made some stew and Esau loved that stew so much that he named it Red Man Stew. In fact, Esau loved the stew so very much that he sold his birthright to Jacob for a bowl of it. What's that? You've never heard of a birthright? Well, back in those days, the son who was born first in the family got some pretty special stuff. Stuff that the other kids in the family didn't get. Like more money or more land. Sometimes this made the younger kids in the family jealous. So they'd fight about it. No fight over birthright is more famous than the one that happened between Jacob and Esau which is why no food is more famous than red man stew. What's that? You've never heard of anything as ridiculous as a fight that happens over a bowl of soup? Yummy! Well, maybe it'd help if you heard about it from, other, from the brothers, Jacob and Esau. We're twins, but we're nothing, we're nothing alike. One thing, he smells. I like to hunt and be outdoors, you know, man stuff. Okay, maybe I do smell a little, but I smell a little like awesome. You saw it isn't just smell like awesome, Harry. But most must help him out a lot when he's hunting because from a distance he looks like an animal. I could probably hunt just as well as he does, but I'm not a big hairy beast. I like it indoors, and I love to cook. Well, I'd rather be a stinky, hairy hunter than a hairless little mama's boy. Look at me. I like to make soup. Yummy. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Go ahead and make fun if you want, but you and I both know how much you love my soup. Yummy. Yummy! Jacob really does make good soup. Yummy! Yummy! I usually eat so much of it that my stomach looks like this. I guess you could say it's priceless, right, Esau? You see, a few days ago, Esau came in all smelly and sweaty after hunting. And I just finished making my special soup. Yum. Yummy! Esau was hungry. I was so hungry that I could have put my whole head in the pot if it had been so hot. Oh, I could tell. So I decided this might be a good time to offer Esau a trade I've been thinking about. Yeah. Because Jacob not only knows how to stir up stew, but can stir up a whole lot of trouble too. And he uses some pretty strong ingredients, like jealousy. You're such a manly hunter, you look for the easy bread. I've never been so hungry. Not that you know what it's like to work up such an appetite. That was a pretty expensive dinner, wasn't it, bro? I'll say it was. 
What kind of brother asks for a birthright in, in exchange for a bowl of soup? Yeah, yeah me. Oh, probably no worse than a brother who's willing to give up his inheritance for a sloppy slurp by soup. Well, that'll do it, fellas. I think they get the point. Now, as a waiter, I rely on tips for making a living, but today I'll leave you with a tip instead. Go ahead and try the soup. Yummy! Yummy! But never pay more than it's worth. I hate to admit it, but sometimes I'm not the nicest guy. When my father Isaac was going blind and dying, he wanted to give my twin brother, Isa, all of his riches and put him in charge of everything. Issa was older than me by a little bit, so the blessing of the firstborn belonged to him. But my mother and I plotted to steal his blessing. When Isaac and asked Issa to go hunting and make Isaac his favorite meal, I snuck into my father's tent while my brother was gone. Your voice sounds strange. Are you sure you're Issa? Uh, Isaac asked. Yes, father, I lied. Let me touch your arms, he said, because Issa had hairy arms. I had put goat skins over my arms to fool my dad. Your arms are very hairy, like Isa, Isaac said. Yes, father, I said. Let me smell you, he said. So I leaned in close. You smell like the outdoors. You must be Isa, after all, said Isaac. So my dad gave me his blessing, and when he died, I would get all his riches, and everyone in our family would serve me. No sooner had I left the tent than Isa walked in with a special meal and asked our father for his blessing, but there was nothing left for my brother. Isa was furious. He hated me for that. I had lied. I had cheated. I had stolen everything from him. He was so mad that he planned to kill me. My mother sent me away to live with my uncle. I was gone a long time. I got married, I had a family, and I owned a lot of animals. But I never forgot my brother, and I wanted to make things right. I decided to do the right thing, even if it meant Issa getting his revenge on me. I sent a huge gift to my brother, dozens of goats, sheep, donkeys, cow, and camels. I hoped my gift might make him a little friendlier. Turns out I didn't need to do that. When Issa arrived, he had an army of 400 men with him. I thought I was doomed, but when Issa saw me, he ran to me and hugged me. He forgave me right then and there. I didn't deserve it, but he loved me anyway, and the two of us couldn't have been happier. Lying and cheating can make us feel terrible, downright icky, nobody likes feeling that way. But being forgiven feels wonderful. It's free. God forgives us too, and even though we don't deserve it, God loves us, God sweeps us back into his arms every time. Think about a time you did something that hurt someone else. How did that make you feel? Did you ask for forgiveness? If you need to ask someone to forgive you for something, do it today. <laughs>